Well, today is Global Biodiversity Day. And um, in honor of that, I wanted to give a little tour of what I've got growing here. So I can't quite remember what this is called, but it's a flowering shrub. Um, an azalea pink. And then we've also got a few other trees here. So this is from Arbor Day. Um, we've got a tulip tree, and then we got a free red maple, and a free red bud. And um, I picked this red maple out of the ground, and I'm going to plant it somewhere. So let's go see what we got. Raver. I've got this ajuga. So it's ground cover. And I'm excited for all the purple flowers to be around here. Um, of course, got all the hostas. Um, we got a ton of strawberries this year, so we're, we have them planted everywhere. I'm excited to see them spread. Mm -hmm. Here is Jack in the Pulpit. So we actually, um, Cody accidentally cut this down last year. Um, there's another little baby one there. Uh, but it came back this year, so that's really cool. Um, tons of mint. Gotta love the mint. Um, here's some thyme. So this actually, um, I started it indoors and it was just a little sprig, like this size, um, from one of those packs of thyme from Jewel. Same with this, this sage here, it was just like a little sprig, but now it's, uh, it's growing. Got some squash, rhubarb. Wood ear fungus. Mm. Tomatoes not doing so hot. Got some catnip. I actually took some cuttings from this and um, multiplying it. <laughs> um, let's see. Got a ton of chamomile. I love the way that the leaves look. Um, this is a pumpkin, I think. Um, hmm. Some more chamomile, chives. Um, this is, uh, uh, Golden Alexander. It's a cutting from another plant. Wild bergamot. Oh, it smells like thyme. Oh, it smells so good. Mm hmm. More juga strawberries. Um, this is cream wild indigo. Planted last year, so I think we're gonna get a flower soon. And blue wild indigo. Mm, some echinacea. I don't know what this shrub is, but I'm leaving it to see what happens. Um, Tiny little red cabbage. Some more indigo. Tomato. I like to, I'm trying interplanting my vegetables with all my flowers to see what happens. Um, here's that golden Alexander. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm, got all the hostas. Here's um, a sage, and it's actually, it has all these little seedlings popping up everywhere. So I'm hoping it spreads around. Um, I just planted this, it's a plum tree, a uh, damson plum. So that won't fruit for a few years, unfortunately, but it should fill up this whole space, like, between the pavers. 
eventually. Um, um, I picked a few potatoes that were growing out of the compost and planted those. So we'll get a few pounds of potatoes for free. Um, tons of thyme along the pathway. It smells so nice and should have some purple flowers. Um, this is uh, either winter cress or rocket cress. Um, I dug this out of a field. I just like the way it looks. More echinacea. More red cabbage. There. There. Here. Um, some geranium. More of that golden Alexander. There's cuttings of it everywhere. I just. I like the way it looks. Mm. The Columbine. It's not doing so great after the heavy rains last week. But we'll see. Um, I planted a few rows of corn here, but it didn't shoot up yet. Um, well, let's go take a look at the, my moss garden. I've got a few different kinds of mosses back here. Um, can't remember the name of this one. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, it's so pretty. And compost. Oh yeah, I'm... I've been sprouting some swamp milkweed. So these are doing really well. And um, these are my pink dandelions, so... I have to plant these um, up front somewhere so that they spread around the neighborhood. Um, and here are my two milkweeds. I thought these died, but they just emerge very late. And there's actually one growing here and two more there, so that's exciting. Um, Oh yeah, and I planted some swamp milkweed there as well. I think that's it. Oh, in the fall I took down my sunflower seed heads and I sprinkled them all over. There's tons growing. I've got about ten growing. So there is a big one. There's another one. There's two little ones, another one. And there's a bunch more scattered around in there. Um, of course, I've got my creeping Charlie or grind, ground ivy. The bees just go crazy for this stuff. I don't see any out right now, but when it was really sunny earlier, they were all over here. Um, I planted some snow on the mountain under here. That one's just about to flower, actually. Um, so hopefully this whole um, understory of this bush will be filled with that in a year or two. Mm. Hey, Teach. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure what this was, but it was growing um, behind our garage, so I'm just going to see what happens. Um, and this is an avocado. It was growing out of our compost last year, so we took it in for the winter. Um, the leaves are young, and that's why they're red. So they'll turn green like this after a while. Got some daisies, Japanese iris. Um, took a cutting of, uh, what is this called? Creeping Jenny or gold coin? Um, I planted it a couple years ago up front, and I thought it died, but I actually found it in the grass, so I'll, I'll show you where that popped up. Here's all of my catnip that I took cuttings from, and it's just multiplying. And this is um, yarrow, so much beloved. 
Um, and this is just, it's considered a weed. It's a uh, mouse ear chickweed. I just like the way it looks. And all the little tiny flowers. Look at this one. And then more chives. Um, whenever I see trees popping up, like I showed you that red maple, I, I've been repotting them. And maybe someday I'll go plant them somewhere. I don't think my property's big enough for all of them, but, you know, I can uh, plant them in some other person's parkway. Um, Salomon Seal. Just planted these daffodils, but I don't, I don't think they're going to flower this year because it's past their time. Um, I dug out this Virginia creeper. It was growing back. Um, I just did this today, so it's kind of not looking so hot. But um, I'm hoping it's going to climb up this wall and give us a little protection from the sun. Lots of dogs barking right now. Hi, Nico. Some more red maples. This is grapevine. Um, crap, I don't remember what, what it's called. Um, but it looks like it's actually going to give us grapes. I wasn't expecting that actually show you another grapevine we have. It's a wild grape. Um, I'm doing some corn in the front yard, right in front of the window. Hopefully that gives us some shade in the heat of summer. Daisies, grasses, some more chamomile. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. I'll show you the grapevine though. And that's about it then. Oh, and the Forsythia. I'm actually, I took a bunch of cuttings of this too. Um, so I'm hoping to make a bunch of bushes from that. So you see we have this wild grapes. And this thing has just overtaken this U. So hopefully we get a bunch of grapes from it this year. And that's it. Happy Biodiversity Day.